How's it going guys? Welcome back to today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to uh, watch me mess around with the VXR again. So thank you very much. Today, and as you've seen from the title, we are installing a gear shift razor, spacer, whichever you want to call it. It's all the same thing really. But this is what it looks like. Okay, and obviously we've got some, some bolts there to um, bolt it back down obviously through these, um, these holes. Now this is was second hand, um, but it is brand new, it's all in the box. Um, this is the company that I had it from, and I'll leave all the any links and that in the description in case you want to get one yourself. Um, but I'll certainly let you know what I think of this one. Uh, this piece is, from what I can tell, uh, a 3D printed uh, piece, which is seems quite sturdy looks all right you won't really see it anyway so it doesn't really matter what it looks like to, to a degree but um yeah so what we've got to do is take out the center console while well, most of the uh, lower half of the center console um but what i'm gonna do i will just say this now i'm going a bit over the top with mine because the grime that is still hidden away deep down at the side of these seats and obviously under the seats i just want to um make it a bit better and a bit cleaner so for the most part you don't have to take your seats out well you won't have to take your seats out to fit this um you could probably fit it with just removing a couple of things uh from your center console which i'll go over in a minute um but like i say i'm taking my seats out purely for the fact of cleaning um and as i said in my last video doing a mod doing a clean must be a theme that i'm starting or theme that i'm doing anyway but uh, let's get on with this install. So as I just said, guys, uh, the, what you really need to do is just take this piece out, which pulls up from the back and slides out of the way. And then I do believe, yeah, there's a bolt down there and a bolt there. Haven't checked to see what they are, but they'll be Torx bolts, probably something like a T20, I'd imagine. Um, you take those out and then I believe this part comes out. Once that's out, you'll be able to um, gain access to the bolts and everything underneath. So you'd be able to sort of take those out and then get it up in the air to obviously fit that. So with the battery disconnected, uh, the back of the seats, if you roll the seat all the way forward with the bar, uh, you've got a Torx bolt on this side and a Torx bolt on that side. If you undo those, and then use that to push your chair all the way back. It will release it from these and you can pull it out and uh, lean it back like I have done. And then if you locate this under here, pull this whole unit out and then pull that off. <laughs> okay. And then I believe this pulls towards me and then this bottom piece pulls out just like that. So then, obviously that's disconnected from the loom, and we can then take the chair out. But this is all the crap that I was talking about. All the grime and the dirt, that's what colour the, the carpet used to be. And now it's this dirty, horrible colour. Um, so yeah, we're going to be cleaning all of this crap out as well. there we have the two seats are out so now we're going to get into the nitty-gritty of fitting the spacer so i'm going to start by undoing the, the torx bolts which are a t20 as i said earlier it's a good guess so let's find all these now and get all these out and at this there is a bolt down there as well which looks like it could be a 10 mil, so let's get that out as well. Let's get those out, and then I do believe that releases this piece. A torque spot on the top here as well. Yep, that's that. Release it off a little bit. So the bit where the um, cigarette lighter is actually comes away separately from this piece. So it would normally be there, it's just clipped in, so 
obviously that can come out and then you can gain access to the electrical connector to take it off separately to get the last two bolts out and then the two you know, there's four there's two that are behind where this sits as well right i think that is all the bolts out as i've removed obviously this piece there's uh just to enable let me have to get this center console off it and to do that you've got two little push tabs there and then that side just comes out it's just put into place so make sure you feed everything down nicely so you don't break anything and there we have the center console piece out wow this thing is filthy uh, let's get cleaning I don't know how much that uh, will come up on camera as a difference but it's a lot better than it was uh, there's a lot of bits in there that I can't get to it's all crusty and cruddy um, but it'll do for now so with this what we're gonna do is we're gonna one bolt two bolt and I think the same again up there so you got that one and that one take those four out and then we can fit the um, bracket underneath it there we have the four bolts are out and for that we used an inverted or female torx bit um, which was an e8 so now we can lift this up drop the spacer underneath i called it a bracket earlier but i suppose it's the same thing drop that underneath there that i lifted up and then use the new hardware to bolt straight back down this just literally pops up and out of the way and then that allows us to fit this i'm going to put it uh, flat side down I think where am I? So look under here. No I'm not I'm gonna stick it that way around. Um so then the bottom of that can sit on there nicely. And it's got real rubber grommets on there so that'll stop any vibrations and things like that I think. But another thing I forgot to mention is this space is a 40 mil spacer. So just uh, bear that in mind when you come to purchase one or buy one have one whatever um there are different sizes that you can get so let's put to that side and then we're going to use the five mil hex to tighten these down where's my extension socket <clears throat> what i'm going to do i'm going to get a couple of these started maybe two of them in the opposite corner get a couple of them started and then i'll be able to feed the other two in because what we don't want to do guys is we don't want to cross the things do we james and craig right guys i ain't gonna lie this is a mission um i'm not sure if it's the kit or what but this doesn't seem to fit very well i've had it back i've had it in and out about three four different times um spin the camera around and i'll show you what I'm... you can see i've got this one this one and this one just about in um this one however and i'll get that in there is slightly out so even by wiggling it about I might be able to push it over a little bit but at the same time by doing that i don't want to cause this any stress or have this snap um so i'm not sure whether i want to to run it or not at the moment i'm gonna figure about with it a little bit more to see if i can get it to go but you think i haven't even got the the gear stick on yet which is obviously what is supposed to go over the top of there and the bolts are supposed to go through these holes then through these uh, bracket and then into the holes themselves but i think if i um take these two, one of these two out that one doesn't even line up anyway so yeah not sure what's going to happen yet guys what i've just done is i've just swapped this bracket round 180 thinking maybe the holes might be slightly off that way but then you can get that one in and that one in but then it comes to this one which would have obviously been on that side comes to this side and it's the same again so you know you can maneuver this over a little bit but you're still only going to get three bolts in with this kit um and i'm not too sure how i feel about that right guys i've come to the idea that i am gonna drill these holes out a little bit um just to save all this being a complete waste i'm going to uh, make these holes bigger and on this one you can see the little bit of stress on that top piece there where i've um had the bolt underneath here and i've been trying to sort of force it 
that way and that's obviously caused that little bit of stress okay guys so originally these holes were bored out to a six and a half mil i do believe that was a drill bit that went through it so i've done this one I'll put it down and show you done this one this one and this one in an eight mil but it was still just that little bit off so i've made this one hole a nine mil um so yeah that all fits i've just tested it down there and it does fit so then once the once this goes over the top obviously the bore size down there won't matter so i won't actually need the washer that i'd found out so that's all good but right, guys there we have all the bolts are in so just to show you obviously that one's in we got this one this one and that one so now all that's left to do is put everything back which is the reversal of removal and uh yeah hopefully when we'll be able to see how much better this is so it's been a couple of days since i fitted the spacer as i said near the start of the video i wasn't exactly impressed with the fact that i was gonna have to modify it or drill it out as such to get it to fit and overall i think my opinion is still the same i'm not really a big fan of it um i'll pull the camera down here and i'll show you why so obviously once i uh, had this out it was fine it was no problem there was no breaks no tears no rips nothing and yet when you try and put it into gear that's first if you put it into reverse that's what happens because all this has got that much more stress on it um it's it's pulling it out so i can't i can't carry on with that uh fifth fifth isn't too bad uh and sixth sixth is fine and fourth is fine you know there's no pulling on the top when you put it into reverse that's when it's just that tight it's pulled it all out so i'm not exactly happy about that I think if I'd have paid, you know, uh, full price for this, or I'd have bought it directly from the uh, the seller, I would have messaged them and said, "What's this about? You know, why doesn't it fit properly? Why is it pulling um, pulling my gator out and that?" But because it was second hand, I don't really feel there's much I can do. Um, I can't really blame that I'd have had it from. Uh, he never fitted it, so he wouldn't have known that there'd be issues with it. Uh, maybe a 30 mil instead of 40 mil would have been better i don't know um i suppose i could cut mine down i'll cut mine down it's got to come out either way because i i can't have that uh but i suppose if i do cut it down there's no going back and i wouldn't be able to resell it um maybe if someone's got a short shifter that might change things i don't know but for me in this car right now it's not staying i'm gonna to have to take it all back out and obviously i won't film that that's just gonna be boring for you this video is probably boring for you but you know we've got to put some content out content out for you guys so yeah that's uh it's a loss on that one i'm afraid but we will persevere and we will keep going so guys next week i'm gonna have a video put up um i'm not too sure whether to post um my uh, opinions on the Vauxhall versus the Ford like the ST versus the VXR type of video or whether to put out my um, things that I've found that I really don't like about this car and it's nothing that I can change there's nothing that I can do that's going to change it there's no mod I can do or anything like that it's just the way it is um, well a few of them anyway but uh, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see and thank you for watching this video guys, I will see you very soon.